Hello the internet, my name is Dean, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set a bootstrap for in Ruby on Rails 5. And we're also going to use a little bit of simple forms so that whenever you generate a new form, you're going to get some bootstrap classes that cause it to be responsive. Before I get started, I just want to say, if you like this video, please remember to like it, because it does help it rank higher in the search results, which means it'll help other people who are looking for something similar to find it more easily. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start by typing in bash to open up our bash command, and then we'll be able to do cd mnt slash d slash youtube. Obviously, you'll cd into whatever directory you want to make your Rails app in. Um, then we'll type Rails new bootstrap demo. You can name it whatever you want to. I will see you on the other side of this generation command. Okay, now that that's done, we can cd into our directory, and then we'll open up Sublime and open up the folder. Uh, if you don't have your gem file open, you can type control P and then gem file to open it. We're going to add in a couple gems here. We'll do gem bootstrap, gem jQuery dash rails, gem simple underscore form, gem popper underscore JS, and gem tether dash rails. Save that and we'll run a bundle install. Then while that's running, we'll come over to our application.js file. We'll get rid of the Rails UJS stuff and we'll do equals require. And we're going to require jQuery 3. Require jQuery underscore UJS. Require, oops, require popper. Require tether. And finally, we can require bootstrap. We can save that and then let's come over to our terminal real quick. We'll run, run rails g simple underscore form colon install space hyphen hyphen bootstrap, which basically just tells the simple form installer that it should use the bootstrap uh, classes whenever it creates a new bootstrap form. Then we'll come over to our style sheets application.css or dot css and we'll rename it to dot scss, which lets us get rid of these comments. And we can do at import forward, uh, forward slash asterisk, which is the same as our old at import tree or at require tree. Then we'll do um, at import bootstrap, except we'll spell it correctly, bootstrap. And finally, at import tether. Okay, now that that's done, we'll just generate a scaffold. So Rails G scaffold poem, title, string, body, text. This is going to be a poetry app. And once that's done running, we can run Rails db colon migrate to migrate the database. Okay, now we'll do Rails s to start the server. And hopefully once that's done running, we'll be able to go to localhost port 3000 slash poems slash new to see what our bootstrap styling has accomplished. There we go. So now you can see you have a very responsive bootstrap form here which works exactly as you would expect. And if you want to grab any components for it, you can go to Google and type bootstrap for components or just documentation. And you can find the gitbootstrap.com docs, which gives you everything, including stuff like a nav bar, which you can find right here. So we'll come over to the nav bar. We'll just grab one that we can find. Uh, we'll grab the first one. We'll drag it into the corner and then we can come to views, layouts, and then we'll create a new one. We'll call it new file, um, save as underscore navbar.html.erb. You can paste it into your navbar partial and then you can come to application.html.erb and above your yield tag, but inside your body, you can do render navbar and quotes, save that. And if you refresh, you'll get an error. What did I mess up? Uh, render poems slash nav bar. Need to do layouts slash nav bar. Yes, there we go. And finally, we have to delete the scaffolds.scss file because that gets generated with every scaffold. And that'll get rid of your ugly on hover effects here. 
And that about does it for this tutorial. If you like this, remember to like it so other people can find it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. It still helps me. Helps other people too. You know, lets them know that it's a bad tutorial. Um, but for now, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.